So we've seen what happens when we place a single black square in the path of the highway. It throws, throws the ant off course for a while, wanders around for a while, and then goes back and keeps on its road building. So an extension to that would be, well, what happens if we have a random pa pattern of squares, black and white squares, around the ant in the first place? And so this, the ant started off in the middle of this uh, uh, random uh, grid pattern, and now it's uh, starting to run around. And obviously this is really just an extension to what uh, we looked at previously before we had a single black square in the way. Uh, this is a, a bit more of a generalization where we uh, plop the ant in the middle of a, of a grid of uh, random black and white uh, squares. And so the point is that obviously that, that random grid is going to have an impact on how the, the ant behaves. And then the question is, well, all right, so does it still build the highway eventually? And uh, we'll, uh, we'll jump ahead here and, and then see what happens. A lot of blob building. Sure enough, it finally starts to build a highway. All right, so this then begs the question, well, first of all, you see that uh, the highway is getting built in a different direction. And so it might be interesting to see what would happen if we just do this kind of over and over and over again. Now, in order to make this quicker, I've got a separate script that runs it without plotting until the very end. And here's an example. Now, uh, I started off with actually a 100 by 100 uh, random pattern. The previous example was a 10 by 10. And I'm not showing the initial 100 by 100 uh, random uh, grid. I'm instead just showing the, the path. But here's just one example. And, and so we get this path off to the southeast if we run it again then it's going off to the uh, to the northwest. We can take a look over here and see well how many how many steps did it take before it runs off of this uh, well it's, it's essentially uh, I have set up a 400 by 400 grid and how long does it take? In other words a way of looking at this is how long does it run around uh, before it finally starts the highway building. In this case it was about 20,000 Run it again. Took thirty thousand. See an interesting, you know, different pattern before it starts the highway. Do it again. Uh, this time it only took about fourteen, fifteen thousand. Didn't didn't take very long at all, and then it started to build the highway. Occasionally, uh, that was another short one, seventeen thousand. Every once in a while, it'll take quite a while. About 36,000 in that case. 40, uh, 41,42,000. 66,000. 36,000. Ah, there we go. There's an example. 113,000 steps about till it, it, uh, it got the highway going. So we saw that there was a, a low, I think in one case we had one that was about 14,000. This, this one is an order of magnitude, more steps before it finally uh, builds the highway. But again, 
uh, as of as of this date, uh, nobody has yet come up with a, a way to stop the ant. It eventually always builds the highway.